Okay, so in this next video, we will continue where we left off in the last video where um, we have Cloud9 now set up with the Django Python environment. So now it's uh, time to actually install Mezzanine. But before we can do that, um, we will need to uh, uh, pre-configure the environment uh, where we're currently in and install certain packages that are needed in order for uh, Mezzanine to work. Since we're in an Ubuntu environment, we will use the apt-get command. I'm actually increasing the console window so that we can see more clearly what's going on because we don't really need uh, the IDE space right now. We just really need the console. So if you want to look at the directory structure of our workspace um, for where we're at, it actually looks like that. And it looks like we already have Django installed there. So the first thing we're actually going to do is uh, install. I have actually brought up some commands that uh, I wrote down. Oops. Uh, and um, basically, I want to be able to run these commands. And you would have to do the same thing on your end. So I'll just go ahead and run through what this means. So we need to have sudo in this command because we're telling the system uh, to uh, run this uh, installer, which is apt-get uh, package management system, to install these particular packages here to the right um, as root, as a root user. So uh, basically what you want to do is definitely put sudo in front of that command or otherwise it just it wouldn't work. And um, you will use apt-get because that's our package management system. And you want to, you can use a flag called dash dash yes. And what that does is instead of you getting prompted whether a yes or a no to install the package, you'll go ahead and take the answer as yes. We do want to install the package. And install is the command, say apt-get install. I want to install these particular packages. And to the right of install are all the package names. We could actually do these individually one at a time with apt-get, but we want to go ahead and um, install all these uh, needed packages. We need Build Essential, we need Python Setup Tools, Python Dev, and Python Software Properties. So I'm going to go ahead and click Enter and install these packages. And it looks like it's fetching some packages and installing it. Okay. So it looks like we have installed the first set of packages. The second set of packages are needed for, uh, so th this first set of packages here actually just install uh, some tools for Python. The second set, I believe, is actually things that Mezzanine needs, some different libraries that Mezzanine might need. So I'm going to type clear here, so we get an empty spot. I'm going to install these. And you can look at these packages there. I'm just going to click install or press enter. And these uh, packages are actually going to get installed on this uh, particular Ubuntu virtual machine that's hosted by Cloud9 for us. So it's just a really cool environment where everything can self-contain for us to work. And it's taken a little bit, but it's completed. Okay. And all right, so the next thing that we want to do is actually go and install Mezzanine. And I am just going to paste it here and kind of explain it real quick. So first of all, we are going to use PIP. And PIP is, stands for Python uh, Installer Type Tool. Um, basically, uh, I can't remember what it stood for, but um, yeah, that's it's definitely a package management package manager for Python. Uh, different particular Python packages that we can install on the system. Since uh, this Ubuntu VM that's given by Cloud9 already came with pip on the system, we can actually take advantage of this. And sudo again just tells us to run this command as root to install these particular packages uh, as root. Um, and the install is just install pip install whatever the package name is. And for us, to, we want to put mezzanine and because we want to actually install Mezzanine. Uh, south is a particular package that we need 
and Django compressor is something that uh, Mezzanine uses also. So we will go ahead and press enter here and it's going to install uh, both of these uh, tools or I guess all three of these packages. Yeah, PIP is one of the coolest tools out there for package management. All right, so we are now officially installed. We have a uh, mezzanine installed on the system, but we still don't have something that's ready to go as far as Cloud9 goes. See, if I were to click run project right now, um, Cloud9 would actually be able to launch our Python Django environment. It won't launch our mezzanine environment. We actually have to create that. So in order to create that, we actually have to delete um, all these files here. So um, I'm going to run a command here after I do a ls and kind of see where we're at. Um, okay. I'm going to delete everything but the readme file just in case you know people want to read the readme. I don't know. But um, we don't really need this file here. We don't need um, this uh, whole entire folder here. So all we have left is the readme. And let's make sure. And it looks like we do have some Cloud9 files there. I'm not going to touch those files. That's in the hidden directory there. OK. So now what we're going to do is um, use the mezzanine command here. I actually wrote this down, or put in the notes. And we're going to run this particular command here. And what mezzanine does is invokes that mezzanine uh, command, which is going to launch the binary. And project is a command for uh, mezzanine to say, hey, create a project. And the last word project there, we're going to name our project project, which is very, uh, very, very nice and descriptive. Oops. Uh, well, it looks like it did not work. Oh, it's because I spelled mezzanine. Well, it's because I sp spelled it wrong. So actually, the command is uh, mezzanine dash project. That's going to uh, create a project for us. And um, the actual project name is whatever's there. So sorry about that. So that actually created it. Notice how we have a new folder now called project. And if we look inside of here, there's all the mezzanine files are pre-created. Notice how there is a duplicacy of what we had before. Manage.py, init.py, all the stuff that you know mezzanine just creates for us automatically. It's just basically created um, Django for us automatically. So what we're going to need to do now is to move all the files within here into this main uh, root level directory. So before I do that, let me take a look here. Okay, I'm going to rename this file real quick to uh, project old. And then we're going to go inside project old. And we're going to move everything in here up one level. So basically we moved everything inside this particular directory here. Except for the git ignore files, we don't really need those. Um, into this level directory here. And that means we can actually delete uh, project old now. Oops, I forgot the dash r command. Dash rf project old. So now we have moved everything inside that directory out to the main root level directory um, for our mezzanine site. So we are pretty much there. Um, so we have the whole entire uh, framework of mezzanine now installed into Cloud9, ready to go for us. And the, really the last command what we need to run before we can really uh, kick off Django is uh, python manage.py create db dash no input. And basically what this means is um, when we call python it's going to invoke the python command on a particular uh, 
.py file, which is just a bunch of uh, Python code inside of a file that's going to get executed by Python. And in this particular file, we're going to uh, call a method called create db. So there's a bunch of code in that method that's going to tell it how to create a db, which is going to be create database. That's what it means. And dash no input is just a flag for it to uh, tell it we want the default settings, basically. Um, and I'm just going to press enter and see what happens. All right. Let's see what we got here. It is unhappy about something that we did. Might need two dashes. Yep, that's what the problem was. That was my fault. I'm copy pasting from somewhere. Um, so don't run the first command, which is just dash input. It actually needs to be Python. Here, let me highlight this so people can actually read. Python manage.py create db dash dash no input. And um, you can ignore this warning for now. I can make this warning go away. We'll talk about it later. But um, basically what we did was uh, we created a database and applied all the migrations for each part of uh, Django and uh, created the tables. Um, this is using SQLite, which is comes with Django, I believe. And uh, basically we had all the schemas and uh, we applied each of the schema changes into the database. And uh, oh, we actually created a default record right there. I did not know that and set the username and password. Yeah, we're probably going to actually need to get that changed later on. Uh, so yeah, we are ready to go now. We can actually launch the site now. So now we can actually click on run project. Well, first, before we run the project at all, let's click on, uh, we, we can, uh, I just want to clear that out. We want to lower this down a little bit here. And we want to right click in this readme file and go to open a new tab. And you can see nothing's running here. Okay, there's no application that seems to be running here. And it's hosted by Cloud9. But the second we click run project, we're going to come back and we should see mezzanine running. So I'm going to click run project. And it kicked off. And it looks like a server is listening there. And we will click refresh here. And what do you know? We have Mezzanine installed. And uh, as you can see, this is uh, Django, actually. Django backend with Python running. And the front end is just uh, Mezzanine, which includes Bootstrap, um, I believe. Yeah, Bootstrap. Um, and basically, you have a whole site blogging interface ready to go for you um, uh, as far as uh, setting up and all that good stuff. So in our next tutorial, we'll actually dive into details on con uh, further configuring mezzanine to your uh, advantages and just learning mezzanine.